Hello everyone, in this video we are going to explore how to create a customizable bottle product. The end user will be able to customize the bottle by choosing its colors and even engraving their name on the bottle. The first step is to create the bottle product directly in the Shopify platform. We can type in the product title, the description, we can also the base image of our product. We can set the price to $20 and hit save. The product is now created, we can preview it. As you can see right now, the product is not customizable and consists of a mere image. So we now need to add customization options to the product. For that, we need to first open the app. We can start creating customization options. We must now select the target of these customization options. It can either be a whole collection or specific product. In our case, we must choose specific product. We can type bottle to find our product and proceed. The first question that is asked to us is whether or not we want our product to have the live preview feature. The live preview allows the customer to see a preview of the final product directly in your store. The customer will be able to change his choices and see them automatically reflect on the preview. So let's check that box. By default, the product's featured image is chosen as the base image for our customization. You can upload another one if you wish. The base image is going to be the canvas on which options will apply various effects and add elements to generate a preview of the final product. For this demo, we are going to add two color options, one for the top part of the bottle and the other one for the bottom part of the bottle. We will also allow the customer to engrave his name on the bottle for an extra $5 fee. To add the color options, simply click on Add New Option, Color Field. The field name is the label that will indicate to the user what this field means. For this color field, it's going to be top color. We can now add the different swatches. And we can now set their colors. Notice that you can also upload images or patterns. Finally, notice that you can also make a price increase for specific products. The colors are now set up, but they do not have an impact on the product preview yet. For that, click on Affect Live Preview. The way color fields affect Live Preview is that you have to define a mask, which is a region that will be colorized. There are two ways to make a mask. You can either create it with a third-party photo editing tool like Photoshop and upload it, or you can create it directly with our built-in mask editor. 
For this video, we are going to create a mask from scratch using the apps mask editor. The mask editor offers several tools. The first one is the magic selector. This tool lets you select pixels in the image that have a color similar to the one you clicked on. Here's an example. You can adjust the tolerance too. Next, there is the brush tool, which lets you simply paint specific areas you want to have included in your mask. The eraser does the opposite. These two icons let you toggle the image and the mask to see them separately. Here is the image, and here is the mask. The black areas are going to be colorized in the end product. At any time, you can cancel your modifications or hit save to proceed. Feel free to explore this powerful tool to better understand how it works. We now have to select the top part of the bottle to create our mask. Let's start with the magic selector tool. Great, the mask is ready and we can save it. As you can see, you can hover your mouse on a color and it will reflect on the preview. It seems to be working just fine. If you want, you can edit the mask again. Blending modes specify how the color or pattern will merge with the base image. You can try them and choose the one that fits best. We have now completed the top part's color and we can do the same process for the bottom part. Awesome, we've now completed both options and we can now add an engraving feature. So let's create a checkbox that will allow the user to add the engraving option or not. Do you want to engrave your name on the bottle? This option will increase the price by $5. We're done with the checkbox. Now we have to create the text field. It is gonna be called an engraving text. By default, it's gonna say Jasmine, and we're going to set the character limit from one to 12. We are not going to restrict the characters. Finally, this field will affect the live preview, so let's check this box. Everything is straightforward. You can customize the text size, font, color, and more. You can position the text using these values or directly click on the image to position it. Notice that these checkboxes will allow the customer to set that field themselves. So if, for example, you want to allow the customer to set the font himself, just check this box and a font field will appear on the product page. We've now completed this first step and can move forward by clicking next step. We're now in the conditional logic step. This step allows you to show and hide options depending on the previous options. In the case of our bottle product, we want the engraving text field to be shown only when the checkbox is checked.
Everything is now set up and we can hit save to apply these options to the bottle product. Let's see the final product. Great, everything seems to be working just fine. The colors change the live preview, the price changes accordingly to the selection, and finally, engraving works just fine. On a more technical aspect, note that when a product with a custom price is added to the cart, the app creates a temporary hidden product with the right price. The product is not visible on the store front end. Also, that product will be deleted after a certain time passes. You can adjust that in the app settings. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helps you better understand the potential of the Infinite Life Preview Options app. See you soon for our next tutorial.